Okay, hello and welcome everybody. Happy 2018. And I'm so glad to be back here, um, getting stuck back into the trading education at OctaFX. Today we're going to talk about mastering the MetaTrader platform. <clears throat> We're going to get in and uh, start to learn about all the different windows and panels, various ways to set up charts, um, enter your orders, and all those important things in your trading. Um, so without further ado, let's jump right in. This webinar is brought to you by Oct FX, the award-winning Forex broker, um, winner of numerous awards in the industry. Um, so let's let's kick it off. Guys, um, here we are looking at the MetaTrader terminal. Um, first of all, actually, I should add that MetaTrader. known as MT4 is the most popular trading platform in the world for retail Forex traders. It was developed by a company called MetaQuotes who are based in Cyprus and it's been around since 2005. So again in this presentation we're going to talk about how to navigate the platform. We're going to explain the functions of the various windows <clears throat> and we're going to talk about how to set up your charts, how to uh, install indicators, and how to place orders. Um, so let's kick it off by talking about navigating the platform itself, na navigating this interface itself. Um, <clears throat> first of all, let's talk about the main menu up here. So with these drop down menus here, basically all the commands and functions that can be executed in the client terminal or in the platform, in other, in other words, are contained within these menus. So everything that you're going to want to do, you can do it through these menus. There's actually in usually several different ways of, of doing the same thing. So for example, if you want to uh, open up the order window, you can do it in several different ways. Or if you want to bring up a, a new chart, you can do it in several different ways. But you can always revert to this main menu up here because it has all the commands and functions that you're going to need. <clears throat> Moving on, um, underneath it we have the toolbars. Now these are uh, kind of here for your convenience so you can access things um, quickly. Um, so for example here you can uh, click this to create a new chart. Uh, here you can use this to create profiles. We're going to talk about templates and profiles. These are fantastic um, features that can help you save time um, and, and make yourself more efficient. New order, you can uh, initiate a new order from the tool, toolbar menu up here. So you've got various important functions here. Here you've got some functions rela relating to charts, the various different kinds of charts, candlesticks. You've got bar charts here. You can magnify or make smaller, zoom in or zoom out with these, these uh, buttons here within the toolbar. And then here you've got some useful things like you've got a crosshairs here, um, various different line studies. You've got a Fibonacci study. And here you have um, uh, toolbar relating to time frames. Uh, it's very important to look at different time frames, be able to toggle back and forth between different time frames. So here you've got the different time frames ranging from one minute to the hourly, the one hour chart, the four hour chart, the daily, the weekly, and the monthly. So you can easily toggle back and forth across these different time frames as we can see here. So we talked about the main menus here. We talked about the toolbars. What's next? We're going to talk about the market watch window here. It's a really important uh, window for you to understand here. Um, so this window contains the symbol list. Okay, so it's the list of currency pairs, commodities, uh, cryptocurrencies, uh, indices, CFDs of indices on here. You've got everything that your broker offers to trade in this window. Um, and for example, you can use these to just simply drag over the chart. I'm going to take the crosshairs off here. Back to the uh, arrow. So you got the quotes here. You got the various different symbols, um, and you can also drag these symbols over and use them. 
You can also right right click these and initiate a very a variety of uh, things such as a new order and so forth. So there's your market watch window, another important window to be aware of. Um, next up, we got the navigator window. Okay, so here you can see various important things like your accounts. So you can see right now I'm in, in a demo account, an OctoFX demo account. You've got your various indicators listed here. And then when you get into start using uh, more sophisticated things like expert advisors, you'll see these listed down here in this navigator window. So for example, you can see I've got a bunch of different expert advisors here. One of them is the London Breakout uh, trading system. Expert advisors, uh, the technical definition, are programs that allow automation of the analytical and trading processes in the MT4 platform. So these are programs that allow you to have you know, robotic trading, automated trading of various trading strategies and trading systems and so forth. So that's the navigator window. The next important one we want to look at is the terminal window. So let's pull it up by clicking here. Here's an easy shortcut. Boom. Um, so here we've got the terminal window. This section contains trade account history, news alerts, mailbox, and journal tabs. Um, the trade tab is important because it shows uh, your pending and open trades. Um, and account history is uh, also there and contains all your trade activity. Um, also deposits, withdrawals, closed trades, and so forth. You've got news here. So this is an important one in terms of keeping track of your account, the trades that you've placed, your P&L, that's your profit and loss, and so forth. So terminal is an important one to be aware of also. I'm going to toggle down because we're going to talk more about the charts now. So I'm just going to get rid of it by clicking the terminal button up here in this toolbar. <clears throat> So next up, we're going to talk about setting up your charts, of course, a very important part of the platform. Um, how to set up a new chart? Well, this, this, like I said, there's a few different ways you can do that. You could go to File and go to New Chart, and then pick your chart like that. You could also go to this button on the toolbar here, Create a New Chart. Let's go to the British Pound here. So there you have opening up uh, a new chart. Next up, we ought to talk about how to set up the chart properties. So what kind of chart do you want to have? Um, so let's to do that, let's um, right click on the chart. You go down to properties and then you see this window come up. Now I'm going to change this chart to the style that I like better. Um, personally, I like candlestick charts better. I'm not a fan of the grid. I think it makes the chart kind of noisy. So we've got that. So we got rid of the grid. And now we can see we have a candlestick chart. Um, I'm going to change a few more properties here. Let's change up the colors. Um, so for a bull candle, I prefer that to be green. And for a bear candle, I prefer it to be red. And for the bar up and down, these are the wicks, basically. I'm going to make those white. And for me, this has a greater visual impact, the, the red representing the bearish candle, the candle where price uh, closed lower than it opened, and green for the bull candle where price uh, closed higher than it opened. So there's an example of, of uh, setting up the chart. Um, let's take a look now quickly at um, adding technical indicators. Again, there's a variety of ways you can do this. You can do it from the toolbar, or you can go to View, uh, Insert Indicators. So let's say we want to have uh, Average True Range or the Awesome Oscillator. Uh, the box comes up with the various settings. You can see that the standard setting is 14. Click OK. And then there we have our indicator. You can also add indicators directly from the toolbar here. So let's, let's add the MACD also. Again, the box comes up with the various settings, colors, visualization, and so forth. Here we can see the standard settings are in there by default, but you can change these. So the fast DMA standard setting is 12 and so forth. So let's click OK, and then we can see that's entered in the chart also. So um, now you might say, well, this is, this is great, this one chart, but what if I want to have multiple charts uh, in one window? Well. Um, 
you can tackle that by uh, a number of ways. Let's let's see. Let's add one more chart here. Let's open up one more new one, so that we've got four in total down here. I'm looking at four different charts here. So a quick way of doing that would be to arrange the windows like that using this button in the toolbar. So you can see your charts down here, and then by by pressing this uh, button in the toolbar, now we have it arranged with uh, four charts in the window. Um, and if you want to go back to the large chart, you can simply expand it like that. So that's kind of a useful function, particularly if you're doing stuff like, let's say you're trading one currency pair and you want to be aware of what that currency pair is doing on multiple time frames. You might want to have the hourly chart, the four hour chart, the daily and the weekly chart all up in one view. Um, so let's talk about next a really useful feature which is uh, the ability to save your charts as a template. So let's say you go to the work of customizing your chart in just the way that you like, but you don't want to do have to do that every time you pull up a new chart. There's a way you can do that using templates. So for example, we customize this one the way that I like it with the candlesticks and the style that I like it. Let's say these are my favorite indicators. So in order to do that, let's say we wanted to save this uh, as a template that we could easily apply later. So let's let's save this template. Um, let's call this one candles. Let's call this one candles two. So now that we have that saved as a template, there were some other templates that I set up earlier on. If you're into price action trading, sometimes you might like a very clean template. Um, so we're going to load a template that I saved earlier on called clean. So you can see here we've got this different template, um, very clean layout and, and good for price action trading. Okay, let's say we're going to open a new chart and we know when you open the new chart it's got the grid and all this kind of thing. So let's go back to our saved templates, load the template, and let's look at, we're going to select candles 2, which is the one that we, we uh, set up earlier on, and boom, there we have this chart with the template um, and everything set up the way we like it. Um, so you can easily get, get your preferences on the chart um, quickly using this function. Again, I'll just do it again. Let's take a look at the Aussie this time. This is your standard chart. Um, we can add a different template. And so this one, we're going to go back to Candles 2 again, add that on there. It's got the same indicators and the same uh, candle setup that we had before. OK. Um, the other, another important feature, which is really interesting um, to use, is setting up uh, your window arrangement as a profile. You can save your window arrangement as a profile and easily toggle between different profiles. So in order to do this, you go over to the profile menu here and you can pull up saved profiles. So I've got ones here, Dan1 for example. Now I set this one up to illustrate um, how you might want to have your charts if you're in interested in viewing one currency pair across multiple time frames, which is a good idea to be aware of what's going on across multiple time frames. Um, so, so here we have uh, this profile which has the British pound across four different time frames. But let's say you're trading a couple of different currency pairs and you want to watch, you want to be able to toggle between two different currency pairs and watch both of them across several different time frames. Well, I set up another profile here with the euro against the yen, same thing, but across uh, multiple time frames also. So in order to to uh, set this up, you simply have to save it, and then you'll be able to pull it up by uh, clicking on the profile button here and just toggling to the different um, profile window. So again, another way to easily navigate between different um, uh, windows with multiple uh, frames in, in them like that. Okay, next up, let's talk about placing orders. 
um, a variety of different ways to play orders. Uh, probably the easiest way is just to go to the toolbar up here and click new order. Um, F9 is also a shortcut to bring up the order men menu. So now that we've got the order window up, let's talk a little bit about um, the different elements of this window. So the first line says symbol. So this is where you enter the currency pair that you want to trade. So in this case, we can see we got it at the British pound, but we can um, click it and we see all the different currency pairs, um, commodities, uh, cryptocurrencies, indices, whatever, all the stuff that you can trade with OctaFX. So here you choose the, the symbol. Um, second line says volume. This is where you enter the size of your trade. Keep in mind that one full lot, it's got volume as 1.00. So one full lot is equivalent to 100,000 units. A mini lot is 10,000 units and a micro lot is 1,000 uh, units, incidentally. So uh, then the third line covers the exit, uh, the entry and exit point of the exit point of your trade, rather. So you can set your stop loss price here. Uh, the stop loss um, is the order that will uh, get triggered in the, in the event of an adverse trade if the price goes against you. You can protect yourself by entering a stop loss order to get you out of the market at a defined price. Conversely, the take profit um, is a price uh, where, if the pro if the trade goes in your direction, um, where you'd be able to, to uh, get out of the trade and take your profit, as the, as the name suggests. So again, stop loss allows you to choose the price for automatically closing your trade in the event of a loss. Where a take profit allows you to set a price for closing a trade when the market goes in your favor. Okay, and the next uh, line we should talk about is the, the type of order, market execution or pending order. So let's talk about pending order for a minute. Um, pending order is uh, in technical jargon the client's commitment to the brokerage company to buy or sell a security at a predefined price in the future so this type of order is used for opening the opening of a trade position uh, at a predefined level um, conversely we talk about the market execution which is um, the order to buy a buy or sell um, your currency pair at the current price so the execution of this order results in the opening of a trade. So basically, when you when you choose market execution, you're sending the order to the market immediately. Um, there's no guarantee that it's going to get filled at a, a, a given price. So that's the order window. There's a shortcut um, if you're uh, a fan of day trading and you don't want to take the time to open um, multiple windows and you want to do things uh, very quickly you can pull up the one-click trading so you right click your chart here go to one-click trading and then you'll be able to just buy or sell with a single click And with that, uh, guys, I would like to thank you all for joining today. Thanks for um, joining for this walkthrough of the MetaTrader 4 platform. If you have any questions, please do feel free to uh, email them to us at webinar at OctaFX. And uh, look forward to seeing you at the next presentation. Thanks very much for joining us.